you truly getting across your message to others? Are you giving up your potential because of this fear of public speaking that is showing up in your life? Hi there, this is Daryl Stewart at Ready to Shine Now. You've got to be able to communicate in life. It's so enormously important. If you can't communicate and talk to other people and get across your ideas, your values, and your beliefs, you're giving up your potential. That's a quote that Warren Buffett had once said after he overcame his own fears of public speaking in his life. At one point in my life, I could not talk to more than one person at a time, and I would get so tongue-tied and have panic attacks in public. So the purpose of this EFT video is for you to get comfortable with public speaking and getting yourself out there to the people that want to hear from you, your ideal client, whether it's through videos, webinars, being on stage, uh, networking, uh, Toastmasters, whatever that is to you, I want you to be able to be very comfortable and at ease with public speaking because I know that if you're having uh, these fears, it's holding you back from moving to that next level of your development. And what ha happens is that if you want, if you want your dr dreams and desires to show up, if you have this fear of public speaking, it's going to not allow you to have those show up faster, quicker, and safer. Before we uh, start, I want to get a, just a baseline on where your fear of public speaking is. So I just want you to take a deep breath and start tapping on your karate chop and repeat after me. I have this fear of public speaking. I have this fear of public speaking. I have this fear of public speaking. Zero to hundred percent true. I want you to put down the number that's coming up in your head. I want that you to write that down so that we have a baseline to see if the percentages have gone down at, at the end of this video. Repeat everything after me and uh, well, let's start tapping. Top of the head. All this fear inside of me. I can't speak. All of this anxiety showing up. I can't speak in front of people. I want to get out of here. I don't want to show up for this. I'm going to stay away from doing this. All of this avoidance. All this resistance to speaking in public. My fear is controlling me here. My mind will freeze up when I talk. All of this sweating, my red face, my shame, my sweaty red face. No wonder I don't want to speak in public. I'm sweating all over. My mind is shutting down. My heart is racing here. I got dry mouth and I'm shaking in my boots. My knees are so weak. Why in the heck would I want to public speak? All of this fear. All this anxiety about public speaking. So I just want you to take a deep breath, exhale it. Take another deep breath, exhale that. I put me on pause and write down any insights and connections and anything that's coming up from your past around this fear of public speaking because this public speaking is about the fear of being judged, being ridiculed, being rejected, being laughed at. So at some point in your past, your near past or a very long time ago, there was different events, different people that might have judged, criticized or ridiculed you and rejected you so you're not wanting to move forward and do do this public speaking or do this video or webinar or whatever you're working on on stage so just take a moment to look at those specific people the specific events that are blocking you from moving forward all of this fear 
this fear of public speaking. I've had this for a very long time. I got nowhere to run. I want to run away so bad. This is so scary to me. And it's bringing up a lot of anxiety. I feel like I can't do it. And this is so overwhelming. All of this fear that's controlling me. This is, oh my God, overwhelming to me. All this fear of public speaking. I feel all alone here. It's so overwhelming. All of this anxiety about speaking in my body. I can't do this. I'll be judged. I'll be criticized. I'll be evaluated by these people. Seems pretty icky to me. I'm not doing it. All this fear of public speaking. This fear of failure. It's so threatening to me. All this fear about what might happen. Those what ifs. All this fear. All of those unknowns that are coming up. What if somebody criticizes me? Ridicules me? Laughs at me? I wonder where all of this fear comes from. Where did it show up in my past? I'm not doing this. I don't want to get hurt again. All this fear of public speaking. Forget about it. My brain is shutting down. All this anxiety and worry about this. Why in the heck am I doing this? Ah, uh, right. To be heard. To be of service. Change people's lives. It still seems really scary to me. I'm out of my comfort zone. It's blocking my dreams a lot. So I just want you to take a deep breath, exhale it, take another deep breath, exhale it. I want you to put me on pause. I want you to start writing down any events, any people that are coming, starting to pop up to the surface, and write down what is this fear of, of public spe speaking really about? Where, where is it from in your past? Who's involved? How old were you? And just write all of those things down so that you have an idea of where all of these fears of public speaking comes from so that you have a plan in place that you can release it later on in your personal inner work. Repeat after me. I want to change my life. I want to launch my career. I want my dreams to be important here too. All of this fear blocking me from moving forward. I don't want to wallow in this fear. Do I? I want to move forward, take action. I want to know what success really feels like to conquer this fear, to feel joy and break free of all of this irrational fear that's controlling me, that's blocking me. All of this fear that I'm willing to let go today. So I just wanted to tap again and just tune into that phrase that we had started with. I have this fear of public speaking, zero to 100% true. I have this fear of public speaking, zero to 100% true. And I have this fear of public speaking, zero to 100% true. Rate the number that's come up to the surface down and see if it's changed since the beginning of this tapping round because what usually happens is that the percentage has gone down. And if it's under 20%, that's really good. 
If it's still over 20%, what I would recommend is to go through this tapping round again. And if it's actually gone up, what's happened is that we're tuning into a specific aspect. You're tuning into that particular event or that person that is involved or connected to your fear of public speaking. And that information is gold. You need to write that down so that we can look at that later because that's important to look at because that is blocking you from moving forward. So take this moment and do that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and saw the value in it because these different uh, particular events and these things that have popped up, those are the particular things that we need to look at and you need to release. And now you have that plan, you have a blueprint on where the particular places are that are blocking you from moving forward in making videos, going on stage, being in radio shows, uh, doing everything that you want in your personal professional life. Now you have that blueprint. And I would invite you to click the link below and set up a time that we can discuss what you found and I can help you look at the options to moving forward. So this is Daryl Stewart at Ready to Shine Now.